Hey guys, it's Yummy Beegs. Wait, no. <laughs> hey guys, it's Jenny from the Yummy Beegs. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. We are going to do a battle of the best vegan mashed potatoes. I'm cooking mashed potatoes for the first time for my family over the holidays, so I wanna make sure they're really good. So I'm trying out three different recipes so that you don't have to. I am trying out a family recipe that I am veganizing, and then two different vegan bloggers that I love, both of them, and everything that they put out there. If you wanna join me on my mashed potato journey, stay tuned. If you wanna skip ahead to the winner of the battle, I'll put the timestamp right here. So, let's get to it. We have our potatoes here. I'm just cooking a little bit so I can not be wasteful and decide which one's best. And what we have to do is peel them first. Um, oh boy. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna take for a freaking ever, dude. Here we go. I remembered how to do this. Um, I'd like to say that I am not in my kitchen, and that's why the kitchen's nice, but the tools are shite. <laughs> this is a serious question. Where the heck is the camera? Do you guys think that these peelers are from the 80s? Oh, I'm not even showing it. Here we go. Here are the peelers. We've peeled them to the best of my ability, and then we are going to chop them. Then we're going to chop them into large chunks. And then we're going to throw them into a pot. And then we're going to cover them with water, leaving about an inch on top. Now we're going to boil all of these guys. This recipe is the family one. This is vegan blogger number one, and this is vegan blogger number two. We're going to boil this one for 12 minutes, a light boil for 25 to 30 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, so I forgot I was supposed to add garlic in with the uh, recipe number three while it's getting ready to boil, so I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> so we're gonna add a little bit of salt to recipe number two. And for our butter, we are using this vegan butter. For the recipes that require milk, we are going to use my favorite vegan milk, Ripple Unsweetened Original. So make sure when you use vegan milk that it's not flavored and it's unsweetened. The so recipe one and three require milk, but we're gonna warm up the milk. You can do this on a stove top, but as I'm using uh, three stoves, burners, we're going to uh, do this in the microwave. You just want it to be warm, it doesn't have to be boiling. But recipe three, once it's done boiling, we're going to drain it and then let it sit for five minutes. So recipe one is done and drained, so we're gonna return it to the pot. We're going to add our butter. So then I'm going to add a little bit of milk until I reach a creamy consistency. So we're gonna add a little bit of milk. Then you're going to keep adding milk and mashing until you reach your desired creamy consistency. The recipe three has sat aside for five minutes. So we're gonna add some butter. And then we're going to slowly add milk until we reach a creamy consistency. You have to add salt and pepper to taste. And then we have our little bowl here that we're gonna top with some chives. This is recipe number three. And I am a dum-dum. I forgot to record the rest of recipe two, but after it boils at a light boil for 25 to 30 minutes, you drain the potatoes, add them back into the hot pot, and then mash until they are light and fluffy. And then you add your butter, raw garlic, salt and pepper, and then top with chives. We're going to test the three different mashed potatoes. So we have one, this is the family recipe. We have two, this is vegan blogger number one. And we have three, vegan, 
vegan blogger number two. So number one. It's pretty good. Number two. It's really good. That's probably because it has garlic and that one doesn't. So we could add garlic to it. This one doesn't have milk. I feel like I like that consistency. Number three. Are you hungry, camera? Okay. <laughs> I don't like that one as much. These aren't, aren't like creamy enough. They're like, these are like way more fluffy. So, I don't know. Then we do this plus garlic and chives. My mom's votes were one and two, or maybe one with garlic. So family recipe wins. All right, okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe for more content. Hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when new videos come out. But thanks for watching, guys. That's all I got. Okay, bye!